J.R. Smith on Manu Ginobili. I'm sure that scares Byron Scott. Down to Sterovich. will get the Spurs their first bucket of this one. And we see the open opportunity for Big Al on the perimeter. There's the speed of Parker on the other end of the floor, intercepting that pass intended for Dick Allen, feeding Ginobili for the tray. And the Spurs take the 5-4 lead. Well, I like how Tony Bowen to Ginobili. Duncan sets him a nice screen. Not a true little pick and roll, maybe a pick and stay. Duncan makes some pay. Well, yeah, like a pick and pop. Here you'll see him. He takes these shots. He's totally comfortable. I mean, he has more confidence than I've seen in just about any high schooler who's really? come out in the recent history. Lance has really changed over the last month after Byron Scott showed some confidence by putting him in as J.R. Smith now with seven. Well, you just love the confidence, but the pass. How about that? Manu Ginobili, I mean, up by two against arguably one of the best teams in the NBA right now. Ginobili got in trouble, got it back. Mano wants that fall away, and he's got two in a row to start the second quarter. Let's have a three-point lead. Well, didn't get a whole lot of minutes in Houston, and he's found a home here. Ginobili made knock bar pay on the other end for the deuce. So right now, the Spurs are exchanging baskets with this team. It's pretty easy for Don't Hoosier to head. possession. Here you see Manu using the offense here. Casey goes to deny and overplay. Makes a backdoor. Ginobili had a poke three by Jacobson. The JR who returns to favor. Three on three. Ginobili finds Duncan and he finishes off that square. Not a statistic for it, but there should be. Manu created. Th there you see. Look at the hand there <laughs> gets right back in the hand of Manu and then look boy what an unselfish team over that'll be their six of the half Ginobili finds Nesterovich who ran the floor and will be rewarded with a deuce goaltending as the third quarter is underway Bowen missed the initial shot, but the Spurs with a second a chance. And getting that second chance at the sh at the possession. Ginobili's first. It's an important time for Moore in the middle part of the season is uh, quite impressive. But the free throws weren't. Hornets have missed 7 of 12 as a team tonight. Here's Utrecht for 3. And the Spurs back up by double digits. Not a lot of free throws being in that. 22, 23 feet for him is, is very easy to get off. I'll have him use a lot of strength. There's Tim Duncan. Made that look so easy. 14 points, leads the Spurs. Got to pick one or the other. Because in between is getting shot in free throw. Mosterovich had his third foul on that play. The third team foul already on San Antonio is Ginobili. Will have his opportunity at the line as well. Center by a Spurs player. Will also walk away with four tickets at the February 26th game against Memphis. Remember to also visit to monitor that particular They're one of the top five in the league. I think number five in that category. And now they're missing shots from the free throw line. And Lance with four different players, 80% or better at the line. Block that many shots. Nobody told Chris Anderson tonight. As Ginobili gets the first. And the second one as well. Win of the year. If the Hornets lose tonight, it's going to snap a pretty amazing streak that the franchise has had. Here's Ginobili. Not to be denied. I mean, that, that play there. They're called. Watch this. Watch the step through with the big step right there. Then he lets it. <laughs> oh, Chris, if Chris gets For that. San Antonio, Hornets cough it up. Or their 12th turnover. No look to Duncan from Ginobili. The all-star connection. And the Spurs have the game's biggest lead at 97.